Over the last year or so, I've heard rumors of exploding tires and hookless rims. And I don't really know what any of it means. So I visited my friend Dov, who is a wheel manufacturer and engineer, and he actually makes some hookless wheels. What the hell is hookless? And why are wheel manufacturers making wheels that are hookless? What does it even mean? So the vast majority of bike wheels, uh, or clincher bike wheels, have always had a bead hook. And what I mean by that is this little bit at the top of the edge here. You can see there's a hook that will keep the tire bead attached and firmly attached to the rim. For a hookless rim, we no longer have that. So you can see that there's a smooth side to the rim and all that's doing is just removing the bead hook. What that means is that you no longer have the safety mechanism holding the bead onto the top, sorry, the bead of the tire onto the rim, which may or may not sound scary, but then you've got to remember that every other wheel with a tire, so on your car, motorbike, or even aeroplane, has a hookless design. So really what it's relying on is the strength of the tire bead against the side wall of the rim to hold it in place. So that's what hookless is. This is actually a gravel wheel from Parkour, which is hookless. All of Dove's off-road wheels are. He doesn't make a road one at the moment, but uh, a lot of manufacturers have started to make hookless versions of their road wheels, which come at a slightly lower price point. I asked him the question, why? There's a few different arguments for why you would run a hookless wheel. Um, number one is it's actually cheaper to manufacture. And I think that's why we're seeing a lot of the bigger wheel brands going down that route, because when you're molding the wheel, you can use a metal tool inside the rim bed. Whereas with a hooked rim, in order to mold the hooks in place, you have to use a soft disposable tool so it makes the process of manufacturing cheaper. From our perspective, the main driver for using a hookless rim on our gravel wheels is that it actually makes the rim stronger. So if you are riding over rough terrain, if you are running a tire at a lower pressure to make it more comfortable, if you bottom out and you actually impact onto the rim itself, a hookless structure will be stronger and more impact resistant which means that for a gravel wheel, for us, it's the perfect use. For road use, obviously that's slightly less of a concern, uh, unless you're doing something really crazy. So for that, I think we're in a position whereby we don't need to do hookless rims for the road because we don't need to hit a certain price point to be competitive. So we're more looking at, is there a performance benefit? We've looked at it in the wind tunnel. We've looked at whether it makes a wheel more aerodynamic. And the first results that we've had back show that actually there's not that much of a difference. So for that reason, we're not yet looking at hookless on the road, but as things progress, it's definitely something we're keeping an eye on. Long-term viewers of this channel may remember when we did some scientifical experiments in Dove's garden where we, we might have exploded some wheels. Now clearly we are trained experts and we used a cat flap with a track pump through it and we were protected fully by the glass door in his garden so whatever you do don't try that at home sixty that's the magic seventy two seventy two brilliant I can see the ceiling 90. 100 and it's making a noise. Oh, look at that ceiling. It's 150 psi. I can, I can hear it. That's 180 psi. True. As you will have seen from the footage, we got to some pretty high pressure numbers and the wheel did eventually explode, but you would no way be running that kind of pressure, 180 PSI in your wheels. The question is, are they safe? Yes, but it comes with a caveat. So the ETRTO, the European governing body for tires and rims, 
have, for the time being, put a pressure limit of 72.5 psi or 5 bar on any hookless bike rim. And the reason for that is to avoid the potential of a blow off. So the potential of the, the tire actually blowing off the rim. That has implications. You have to stay within the tire pressure guidelines in order to remain safe. For narrower tires or for heavier riders, that might come with some restrictions. Equally, you have to run a tubeless setup, or rather you have to run a tubeless ready tire on a hookless rim in order to maintain the tolerances between the tire bead and the rim. Doesn't mean you have to run a tubeless setup, you could put an inner tube in there, but really you're looking at the worst of both worlds in that case. We have tested a number of different tire combinations with hookless rims, and to be honest, the results vary. Some will stay on the rim way past the 72 and a half PSI. Some, they get a little bit close before you get a blow off. So the technology is catching up, but for the road, we're not quite sure it's there yet. Gravel's a totally different beast. At that point, you're running a wider tire at a much lower pressure. So frankly, if you're running your gravel tires anywhere near to 72 and a half PSI, you're far, far too high. Um, in fact, most of the tire manufacturers, their, their stated maximums will be lower than that. So for us, for gravel, it's a no brainer, which is why our new gravel wheels with the Alta are hookless. The benefits are there, the road, we'll see. So there you go. Now you know all about hookless wheels and so do I. I hope you found that information useful. If you'd like to check out Dov's website, he makes carbon wheels. And if you were in the market for them, then it would be very nice if you bought some from him because he's a small business running in the UK and makes some fantastic stuff all aero tested by him. That certainly won't be the last video that we do together on the topic of wheels. So if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section down below and we'll do our best to answer them. Or if it's a big topic, make a video in the future. Thank you for watching and see you guys soon.